what he did. Did he know what? Denigrated. Okay, he did not did not denigrate No. no. Um, he did not say what uh, what, what they are uh, purporting that he said. Mm -hmm. What he did outline based on a question was the state of affairs of Liberia. Okay. Who question. asked that question? Um, the visiting delegation. And he went through what he thought was the state of affairs, which we have articulated in our response to the president's message and any other um, uh, measures about what's going on in Liberia. Mm -hmm. Um, if, if, if anybody in Unity Party feels like what's going on in Liberia right now is completely correct, mm -hmm. completely uh, 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 on the top and, and, and everybody is fine, and, and so that when a visiting delegation asks how the country is, we don't want to get the truth, mm -hmm. then they're mistaken. Our support in 2011 of Unity Party slash the president's candidacy to continue mm -hmm does not say that when we see things going wrong, we will not speak up against it. Mm -hmm. or we will not let you know that these are the things that are going wrong. Try and correct it. So the assumption here that by our support in 2011, uh, uh, we will see the country's backsliding and that we will not respond um, appropriately is a mistake on that part. But more interestingly, when uh, Wilmer Pei comes here and he says, uh, Liberty Party chairman. What about the Unity Party chairman? The most highest platform that one can get uh -huh. to speak to the Liberian people and guess. Obasan Joe was here, 20, uh, the uh, July 26 uh, celebration. So, uh -huh. We all heard that speech. Who denigrated Liberia more than the chairman of Unity Party during that time in front of international guests? So when you want to talk about who is denigrating Liberia, all we have to do is pull out the speech of the Unity Party chairman. He, he outlay the problems as he saw them. Does that make him unpatriotic? Does that make him uh, 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 a bad person? No. He was stating what he thought was the situation in Liberia at that time. What do you call that speech? We will pay. Mm -hmm. Before you talk about a private meeting and what we have decided to do, Liberty Party, on behalf of the, uh, through the Chairman Office, have requested the United States Embassy to provide clarity on that. Because it's important, you don't just come on air and, and try to solid somebody's hard-earned uh, 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 reputation as far as his nationalism and his patriotic uh, 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 behaviors. You don't just do that. So we've requested the Embassy for clarification, which we hope they will do right away. Mm -hmm. We've also decided that Unity Party need to understand that criticisms of the, the current establishment, of the way things are going, is not unpatriotic. If you see wrong, you say wrong. Whether I'm working with you or not working with you, the best advice a friend can give you at times is to tell you that you are wrong mm -hmm. and things are not going right. So, um, you want to give this person, what did he really say? He outlaid the problems of corruption, mm -hmm. the problems of, 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 of inclusion, the problems of, 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 of youth unemployment, he outlaid them. And these are not unpatriotic things. These are things practically that was probably pulled from the speech of the, of the, of the United Party chairman back then. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you look at what Vali Chairman did at the Orator, the mm -hmm. chairman of the ruling party, when he tore apart Madame Salih's government, mm -hmm. you want to compare that to a private meeting among uh, 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 political, party. political parties with uh, visiting what, delegation what where, 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 where the question was the state, what's the state of affairs and you outlay the state of affairs and then all of a sudden it's a, it's a, it's a denigration of Liberia but what do you think what do you think uh, a women pay will want to go that route well I don't know why he would want to go that route but what I would say is this there is a divide apparently within in the unity party there are factions within the Unity Party. And everybody... Although they have disputed that over and over. Well, they can dispute that, but I asked, where was Unity Party? When 10 high-headed men was going around here talking about resignation of the president, where was Unity Party and women be during that time? What's the point? Where were they? Were they patriotic at that time? Did they come to the defense of the government? That's the divide. That's the divide I'm talking about. There's a disconnect there. So the question is, why do you think women people will be, quote-unquote, saying things that are not factual? Well, everybody have played political games and 
and and have the reasons for doing what I have no idea. And it's actually not important to us what, why he's why he takes this road. What is important is that we set the record straight that at no point in time did Councillor Kofa or Liberty Party denigrate the Liberian people. You've known Councillor Kofa for some time. You think he's somebody that will not do that? Um, that's not his style. His style is to tell you the truth. His style is to 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 tell you when you're wrong, mm -hmm. when you know when you are. Um, we Liberty Party support for uh, Madam Selim's government since 2011 has been measured, has been responsible, has been very um, uh, uh, calculated uh, for the sake of peace and for mm. the sake of having an opposition that will tell you the truth from behind the scenes and from in front. Um, we've done more of the behind the scenes for the last two years. We have decided that uh, some of the conversations that we're having is not giving the kind of results that we need. The people are still uh, complaining about uh, many things. The people are still suffering. People are still, inequality is still there. The Liberian entrepreneur is still being uh, um, punished mm -hmm. for being Liberian. Um, so we have decided that there's a different course of action that we must engage this government moving forward. So what are you sensing? What do you think is happening? I think um, there will be a disengagement between Liberty Party and the government. Not the, not the Unity Party, because I mean, they're not in government. They're, hmm. they're not in ruling right now. What do you mean disengagement? You will uh, withdraw all of the, your people from the government? We don't have that many people. Two or three, that's about it. Yeah, really. the, the, the few persons you have. No, it's not about withdrawing. No, it's the right to serve the, their country. So what so, constitutes uh, disengage? I, when I say disengage, I'm talking about um, going back to the basics of being a loyal opposition by stating to you the private conversations now become public conversations. So what I used to say to you privately about trying, because we were working together, about trying to put this country straight, and we see that there's no yielding of results from our private conversations, we now have to go publicly with our, our conversation and our engagement with this government. So that is a posture you're going to see the Liberty Party take from now on, because it's important to the Liberian people know that what we've been saying privately is not working. Um, measures that we hope we would, that the government would take is not working. Youth unemployment is still riding high. That's a security threat. Everybody knows that. The president says that. Um, corruption is still um, walking on daylight in Broad Street, as what's his name, uh, Darius Zion says. So all these things, um, and we don't see the apparatus, those that are around the president, as being honest in their dealings with us. Um, Do you want to give some elements, some facts? Um, Amara Khanna is not honest when it comes to uh, the negotiations that he did with us. Negotiations that said, "Look, we will give you your, our support in order to, to move this in 2011? Country, yeah, okay. in order to move this country forward, in exchange for certain things. And it's, the things we're talking about is the governance of the country, more inclusiveness. Did he promise you job? That's not about job. No, actually, never. So what? Um, inclusive, inclusive. You want to talk about insincerity? What do you mean, American? Is not sincere. Well, well, like I said, huh? I'm, I'm trying yeah. to explain it in you, huh? interrupting me. When we talked about how the country is going to be governed, huh. when we talk about curbing corruption, when we talk about uh, making sure that youth unemployment is, 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 is a priority of this government, when we talk about working with the, the, the civil society to ensure that transparency and accountability take hold, huh. all these conversations that we had that was part of us, support, the reason why we supported this government. Was it verbal? Of course. There were verbal mm -hmm. conversations, uh, and and my point but is the verbal conversation. Uh, uh, there have to be I, men of you have to be yeah. men of integrity when you're making. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you cannot dismiss it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not dismissing. I just try to correct it. So uh, from I say American because he was a lead negotiator. We are negotiating on behalf of. Uh, the question is, you would not negotiate on behalf of a unity party, I can tell you that. Okay. Yeah. Well, on behalf of somebody, perhaps the president. President, yes. Okay. Um, so I can tell you that. But the key here is, mm -hmm. first and foremost, our private conversations now have to become public because the private conversation is not healing the benefits of the people. And yeah, plus, you've articulated that. Let's go to the American issue and uh, the, the, the insincerity. I'm interested in that. Because he negotiated, but he was uh, representing somebody. So mm -hmm. in that uh, negotiation phase, 
if the intent of that negotiation phase, you want to ascribe it to the negotiator, but not uh, the, the principal? Well, the principal... And said, you want to say the, the principal, principal and agent theory. Right? The, the principal and agent theory exists. So okay. I'm not, I will extend it to the principal at the appropriate time. But what I see now hmm. is uh, every, every opportunity that we've had hmm. to negotiate, um, to have a conversation, to hmm. tell the, the, the ruling establishment that these things are going on and they're not right. Yeah. The Liberian people are... No, no, I heard that. I'm interested in the... I'm, the I'm, I'm getting that. Yeah. I'm getting that. Yeah. We have had the private conversations hmm. and they are not working. Okay. And the primary contact has always been America. Hmm. And the back and forth between Liberty Party and that uh, arrangement, hmm. it's, it's, it, to me, it's not working. To me, they're not listening to us. Um, it, it's sad that you have to be on the outside and yell, as opposed to being in the inside the room and whispering and say, "Hey, let's get this thing on track." Can we and say? Can we say you can hold the the principal responsible and not the agent? You can hold all of them responsible. You sure you want to expand about because the agent they represent the principal and under that theory you can now hold well an, either uh, the message is not getting to the principal especially within the line of uh, either the uh, message is not getting to the principal hmm. or the principal is getting the message in, okay in, so that's the first issue i found out uh, well, the, the, well the, the principal got the reality the is is that the message is not getting somewhere okay it's either stopping with the agent, mm -hmm. or it's getting to the principal. Either way, like you said, we can hold everybody responsible, but for now, we'll, we'll place it right you know, as, a, we, as we a, come a, to these elections, 2014, 2017, I see more throwing of allegations at the attack going across the board. You were here, you talked about Joshua the other time, and uh, Wilma P was here, he talked about you. Uh, ANC Gu was here, he also talked about you. And now you are starting another debate, holding the finance minister, the lead negotiator, responsible for your private uh, understanding not being realized. Your question is? My question is, why do you think we are leading to? Well, it, it is a political year. Mm -hmm. It is a political season. So you just so being political? You, you, you would know. You will see a lot of accusations coming forth. Some what do you mean it's a political year? So political year, we should just behave political. It's, no, I'm asking, it's about time I'm, that I'm we start being you, political. I'm asking, mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, mm -hmm. based on your question, yeah. what some of the reasons could be. Okay. It is a political year, so you will see accusations coming back and forth. But not coming from Israel inside the men who I know to be somebody who will not be political but will be realistic. Well, I am being realistic right now. No, but, you, but, you I'm, just, but that's one one of the answers. I'm telling you, okay, you're stopping many. me at that because there, there are many answers. Mm. Another thing is, is that for the last two years, we have been in conversation. For the last two years, we have been working and collaborating with the government to the point that we have been called regime collaborators. Mm -hmm. To the point that we have been called regime collaborators, because even the United Party has distanced itself from this government. Okay, so we cannot continue down this route. We can. We have to move what forward. Do you mean the United Party has distanced itself from this government? Is the evidence are there? Who is the ruling there. party? The ruling party has distanced itself from the government. This is two separate entities. You want to expand upon the evidence? Where was the ruling party when there were calls for the resignation of the president? Did you, hear, did you hear one unity party person come up and speak up? Against that action? Yes, did you? You guys monitor the radio mm -hmm. and, pr and put a, a major, one of the major programs out in Liberia. Okay, no, no problem. Nobody came here to and, defend. And talk, about, talk against that. It, now, if, if that's a ruling party, mm -hmm. Uh, action so that constitute distancing itself course, from, the, from the government. Of course. Now you, you are look, at his, look at the speech of the of the of the of the, the chairman. chairman. Mm. He distanced himself once again from the government. Was that a wrong thing? I'm he was just saying, speaking I'm his not, mind. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying that's the reality. Okay. V very, very well. Let's move forward. I, I was on Facebook this morning and saw you spewing some uh, wild allegations. It's no. It's, it's not wild allegations. What that about, Joshua received this is not about Joshua. This is not about Joshua. This is not what you call me here for today. But that is that is a Facebook. Glad. That's a Facebook discussion. <laughs> I'm going to bring it here. Uh, okay. uh, the issue here it was and it continues to be the allegation that Liberty Party are a bunch of regime collaborators. Okay. And my point is that of all the opposition political parties and opposition hierarchies, hmm. you know, elites. Hmm. Who is benefiting more from this government? Okay. Is it Liberty Party 
or oh. is it CDC or is it ANC or let's look at it before you start calling people regime collaborators because that's a term right now that has a negative connotation and we need to correct it. So if we <laughs> if we're all regime collaborators by virtue of the then let's look at the facts. Yes, look at the facts. And some of the facts are forty thousand going to judgment. Some of the facts that people are getting paid all over the place and so nobody should including go judgment. Including judgment, including everybody. Everybody's getting paid. Why did you get an information from the regime? I'm not gonna go now. Gonna face what talk with you on radio. Let's, let's yeah, okay, no problem.